Let's have a look at two definitions of impurity and also the computation of impurity reduction. So here we have one decision tree and we're just going to consider this one for now. And we want to compute the imp impurity reduction of the first splitting, so only the splitting that goes from here to here. And yeah, we are going to use one, the misclassification impurity and here this entropy impurity. So first let's have a look at the definition. So this Jota misclass is defined as 1 minus the maximum over all classes of the amount of samples that have this class divided by the amount of samples in total. So we have to compute this now for three um, yeah, sub data sets, so one for this over here for the total one and then for the split one in this and in that case. So let's have a look at this here and, and let's also have a look at what this formula means intuitively. So basically it says take the most common class and compute what percentage gets misclassified. So yeah, the most common class is one of those. So let's just take that green one over here and compute um, yeah, what amount gets misclassified. So we get one minus and uh, yeah this is what what gets correctly classified so 6 out of 24 so yeah this would be the same as um, 18 out of 24 or 3 quarter. Okay for the next one Let's have a look at this one over here. Again, select the most common one and have a look at the misclassification. So 1 minus 6 divided by 12 is 1 half. And let's have a look at this case, but this is exactly the same. We again get 1 half. Now let's compute the impurity reduction delta J for this splitting over here. So in the general case this can be defined as J for the total data set minus the sum over all splits for our um, yeah, cardinality of the data sets or the percentage or fraction that this data set um, has for the total data set that we considered before the split times our J for our sub data set. And this also explains that we have this here why we had to compute both of those values so let's apply this for our case over here. So basically we take the value for this one over here. This is 3 quarter minus a sum of, and now we got to compute the percentage that remains in the left split, and this is um, 12 out of 24, or 1 half, times um, this value over here, one half, plus again what part remains here, it's also one half times, and here we also get one half. So in the end it's one quarter. Okay, now let's go over to our 
entropy-based impurity. And again, we need to take the definition, and the defin definition is the following. Minus the sum over all classes of our cardinality of the samples that have this class divided by the total number of samples times logarithm base 2 of that very same value. So here we just or we don't just take uh, the most probable or most common class into account, but rather all the classes that occur. And um, yeah, we basically try to punish uh, impurity this way. So let's have a look. Let's evaluate this here. So um, for our data set, total data set over here, we get minus and a sum, and this sum is, so for each class, um, yeah, the fraction that one color has among all of them, so one quarter times logarithm base two of the same, plus, and the same thing four times, basically, because, yeah, we have this four times. So I could write this as a sum plus da 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 and so on, or I could just write this as a product times four. Okay, what is this logarithm base two of one quarter? This is minus two. So we have yeah four and four that goes away. So in the total we get two. Um, now let's compute the same for this subtree over here. So we have minus, and then for all colors, so this is uh, one half times logarithm base two of one half, and the same two times. And logarithm base two of one half is minus one, this again cancels out, so we get 1, and this is basically just the same, so we get 1 again in that case. And let's have a look at this uh, impurity reduction over here, delta yotta entropy, and this basically computes the same way as we saw here. So we take this value over here, 2, minus the sum of, and now we got to compute these shares that we get here, so again half of those samples end up here, so we write one half times this subtree yotta entropy, so times one, plus again here we have the other half times this value over here, and this is also 1. And the final result is 2 minus 1, and this is 1. So, in the end we get a different um, yeah, delta yotta entropy, but what really counts is um, if we compare this delta, or Wait, we get a different delta yotta than we had in this misclassification case, but what really counts here is the difference between um, different ways to split this data set. So now you would repeat this computation for the other tree from the exercise, and then you could compare those values.